Hugh Blinken said both he and President Biden agree with Trump that Jerusalem is Israel's capital and that is the official U.S. position. He also added Biden has no intention of moving the embassy from Jerusalem back to Tel Aviv. With us now is former Ambassador Yoram Ettinger. Uh, sir, thank you for being with me. Your reaction to Blinken's comments when it comes to the Golan Heights. Well, uh, Secretary of State Blinken ignores his more important, most important concern, which is America's interest. Israel on the Golan Heights serves, enhances America's interest. Israel on the Golan Heights constrains the maneuverability of the Iran's ayatollahs who are present in Syria. Israel on the Golan Heights constrains the maneuverability of Assad, who is a ruthless terrorist, unpredictable uh, leader. And Israel on the Golan Heights also constrains the maneuverability of uh, Russia. Equally important, the Golan Heights is a trilateral border between Israel, Syria, and Jordan. Israel on the Golan Heights serves as a, the most critical defense line of the pro-U.S. Hashemite regime in Jordan. Instead of taking care of America's interests, the secretary talks about uh, international law and legalities and the future. This is a major, major mistake from the U.S. point of view. Sir, also about the, the concept in this particular case, of international law, which Blinken alluded to. I don't understand the, the position here. I mean, the, Syria had the Golan Heights for less than 20 years. Israel now has had control of it for more than twice as long. Uh, the U.S. previously recognized sovereignty there quite clearly. Uh, but what is international law then? I mean, negotiate with Syria? What is Syria? Is that a country that you can even negotiate with anymore? I mean, what will it take for uh, the new administration? Well, you, you display more realism than the Secretary of State because the issue is not international law. Uh, the issue is whether Israel can afford to retreat from the Golan Heights in return for an agreement. The Secretary is trying to apply uh, Western norms to the very non-Western, uh, unpredictable, violent, ruthless uh, Middle East where accords are as temporary as the regimes that uh, conclude them. Uh, for Israel to rely on a peace treaty with Syria as its core national security would be suicidal. And therefore, for the sake of stability in the region, for the sake of America's interests, and certainly Israel's national security, Israel has to control the Golan uh, Heights. Otherwise, we are going to have a quite a tailwind to uh, terror regimes in the Middle East, to rogue regimes in the Middle East, which would adversely impact the fate of the region and America's own interests. Ambassador, overall in that interview, which did focus heavily on Middle East policy positions, Blinken said, the embassy is staying in Jerusalem. We recognize Jerusalem as the capital. Uh, these were positions that the, that the Trump administration had, had taken. The Golan Heights was kind of the outlier and, and really trying to step back from what Trump did. Overall, what do you think this reveals about the Biden White House's approach? Well, we certainly have to uh, wait a few more months, maybe a year. But uh, based on the fact that the key players, Secretary of State, the head, the director of the CIA, the deputy secretary of state, the national security uh, advisor, director of national intelligence, are all veterans of the Obama-Biden administration, one should conclude logically that they will try to implement the same Obama-Biden uh, policy, which uh, sadly, sadly, uh, took quite a severe toll in the uh, Middle East, undermining Middle East stability, most uh, notably uh, the uh, America-led military offensive against Gaddafi of uh, Libya on uh, the ground of Gaddafi's violation of human rights. Well, Gaddafi was lynched by his own people, 
and the American-led offensive transformed Libya into an uncontrollable uh, uh, piece of uh, real estate, into a major platform of international Islamic uh, terrorism, into a platform of series of civil wars, heavily undermining stability of North Africa and America's own uh, interests. I hope that the current team will learn from its past mistakes uh, rather than repeating those mistakes. Sir, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate your time. Thank you.